guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another unboxing uh, boxy charm uh, this is the quarterly box which is called boxy Lux, and this comes out four times a year and this is my December box um, if you're not familiar with boxy charm it's a subscription box you get a monthly one uh, for $25 and then this one uh, which is valued over $250 plus comes with extra items all full size and this one is $49.99 so here's the box right here it's super big I've created this look right here using some of the items some of the items on here this very pink purpley look and um, I will insert clips of me applying some of these as we go along but let's just go over uh, what I got in my box um, this is the theme is whimsy and um, the variation is number 27 so um, you know depends on what number you get and then some of the items I was able to choose for example uh, this oil Elemis oil I was able to select it and they open up the uh, I think for a day or two you're able to go in and select from two items um, but the window is very short and you know if you don't go in during that time then you kind of are just you just receive what you receive but anyway the first thing is this eyeshadow um, palette it's fairy tale storybook cosmetics and uh, this is what it looks like I will insert a clip here of me applying this look and this is valued at the retail price for this is $55 then we have the Elemis oil that I mentioned that was um, one of the things that I was able to select and it's pro collagen face oil Elemis this is a uh, value retail value for this is $79 as I always say, skincare is expensive, and whenever I have a, a choice, I will, um, because my makeup collection is as large as it is, I usually lean towards um, skincare. So this is just an oil, and here it is. I'm assuming it has a, I won't open it because I have so many other oils that um, I've already, uh, that I have already opened, and uh, so I want to kind of work my way through those before I open this one up. Um, let's see we have from Ciate London we have this highlighter it's, it's called marble light illuminating blusher and it's um, I have it on right now I'll insert a clip of me applying it and it's just like a baby pink blush if I can get this open a baby pink blush with um, a small amount of shimmer to it so um, more as a, a blush topper I would think the retail value for this is $26. The next thing is this, uh, I was excited to get this from Fresh, the Soy Face Cleanser. And this is sold at Ulta. Um, the value is $38. And again, I have a lot of other cleansers that, I'm, um, that I have opened, so I don't want to open it up. But I know this is one of the one of those brands that um, is really reputable um, their prices are you know semi affordable um, but definitely on the higher end side and I know that this this brand has really really uh, good products and I'm excited to um, finally get something in my box from them the next thing is this lipstick from Too Faced it's the metallic matte metallic and the color I got is this baby pink um, right here and I have a swatch of that actually already right here and here I'll just swatch it again there it is it's a really um, a true baby pink which for my skin tone is not the most flattering but uh, the value for that is $21 then we have this setting spray, um, yes, from In Beauty. It's this one. The value is thirty-two dollars, and it's a um, Power Dual Up Face Setting Face Mist. I'm gonna also not open this one because I have a couple others that I have open, but I'm always happy to get setting sprays. I'm not familiar with this brand. I don't think I've seen it at Sephora either. Um, but uh, it looks like it has a lot of skin loving um, ingredients to it um, helps to um, set makeup um, energize and revive skin filters away uh, dull tired and stressed out complexion 
sounds good to me. So happy to get that. Uh, the next thing is this lip uh, primer, and I've never received anything. Um, I've actually never um, owned a lip primer. Didn't even know they made this. This brand here, I've never heard of. It's QMS Lime, QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Lime Corrector, and the value for this is two hundred dollars. I don't know. Um, let's see if it works. I mean. Ideally, this will be something that helps fill in those lines that we get as we mature. Um, you know, and I love the idea uh, about a serum for the lips. I use a lip, a lip mask, the, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name. I've gone through so many of them. But anyway, I apply the lip mask in the morning and at night, so it'd be um, nice to be able to put a primer underneath the mask just for added, added hydration, and hopefully it works over time. Uh, the next thing is something we're all very familiar with, the Kat Von D, Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner, and the value for this is $20. Again, I I don't really use liquid liner so all that much, um, so I'm not gonna open this up, but um, it's definitely something that I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be happy to get. This was like a staple in, in for so for such a long time, and um, I know it was like one of the most popular ones for a really long time. So that's that. Um, and the last thing is this, Rituals, a ritual of Sakura shower gel. Never heard of this either. Uh, the value for this is nine dollars and fifty cents. Um, it smells very. It smells very very flowery. So if that's not a scent that you um, that you like, you most likely will not like this. Um, I'll give it a try. I mean, it's in the box. Um, anyway, this. Uh, is the end of this box. Uh, let me just go ahead and add up the total and um, I'll come back with the total for you. So I paid $50 and that is the total value. Um, I would have to say that the things that I was most excited about uh, are these two, the 
Elemis oil, facial oil, and the fresh um, cleanser. These are, this, I had been wanting to try this brand but because I've heard really good things about it for a long time. So I'm excited about those two things. Um, not so much everything else, to be honest. Um, a lot of the things that, you know, I, owe, I already own, um, either very similar or identical products. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. And um, stay tuned because I will be getting back into recording more uh, tutorials. Well, just recording in general. I had taken... Um, I had taken a hiatus because I was working two jobs, working full time and then another job. And so um, I slowed down on the recording and I'm really trying to make my way back. And so, I don't know, hopefully you will consider subscribing if you're not already. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.